So then we come to how do you stop worrying uh, about your money? And you may say, I don't know if I can ever stop worrying about my money because it is so integral to my life. It's so integral to everything that I do day by day. And uh, how could I stop worrying? Well, number one, we have to focus on facts. We have to focus on real things. We have to focus on things that have happened historically. Uh, we have to focus on uh, what we know will happen in the future. We, we have to focus on uh, the things with the highest probability of occurrence. We have to focus on what is real. Uh, because again, if we're constantly looking at what ifs and we're looking at worst case scenarios, uh, that's not going to be good for us, right? If you're constantly looking at the worst case and you're being pessimistic about what could occur, uh, then that's not going to be good for your mental health. That's not going to be good uh, for the behaviors that you see flow from yourself surrounding your money uh, as you move forward. One place where focusing on the facts is extremely important uh, is investing. And a lot of people don't focus on the facts. They invest based on emotion. They invest based on how they feel uh, about a stock or how they feel about a certain investment. And uh, the emotions that come with a hard market downturn uh, are very hard to deal with. I, I've you know, seen it firsthand. I mean, March of 2020, uh, when the, the pandemic was beginning and the market fell over 30%, that is a hard thing to swallow day after day, seeing the market fall so hard and so fast. Uh, but you can't just sit around and worry about that. You have to focus on facts. And the facts surrounding that situation are long-term. Uh, the stock market has seen several uh, different crashes. It's seen several different bear markets. We have always come out of them. Uh, there is absolutely no plausible way uh, that the stock market as a whole could go to zero uh, because these are the largest companies in the world, the most profitable companies in the world uh, that things like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones is tracking. And so that is not realistic. The, the facts are is that it's not likely going away. And the facts are it's going to increase in value over time. We can expect an increase in value over time and being able to uh, expect that based on the historical data, uh, based on the facts of what the stock market is uh, and what you expect it to do can inform your decisions. And it could have informed you uh, as I chose to do to buy more at that time, to invest more at cheap prices. But a lot of people unfortunately sold at that time and took losses uh, that were unnecessary to take because they did not focus on the facts. So um, in just about every part of your financial life, you need to focus on what's real. You need to focus on uh, the numbers in front of you and how you can attack things realistically. Because again, if you're super pessimistic about what could occur, you could be telling yourself lies. You could be telling yourself things uh, that are not extremely likely to occur. And so, um, you know, you could be digging yourself into a bigger hole just by thinking uh, that something could go as bad uh, as you've made it out to be in your brain. So focus on the facts, focus on the real things, uh, and that can alleviate our worry uh, a bit.